have five gift cards to the bookstore, so come with me to the bookstore and watch me buy literally everything I want. I've accumulated one, two, three, four, five gift cards to the bookstore, all in the same place, and it's an independent bookstore, and I haven't really used them, like some of them I used once, but there's still money on it, so I'm gonna combine all of them and spend it all in one day. Hopefully I can spend it all in one day. I mean, it's a bookstore, so I think I can spend it all in one day, but let's just say hope. I don't know how much is in each card, but I know this one I just got because I sold books, and when they buy your books, they put it all in a gift card because you don't get cash, so I know this one has like 50 something in it, which is a lot. I'm super excited. I do have a few things in my head, like Ocean Vung. I want to get on earth we're briefly gorgeous i really want to get alone with you in the ether because i was holding that book in target and i was like i really want to read this but i do have one olive lee blake book somewhere in here oh this one the atlas six and i had got this because it's a fantasy and i wanted to get into fantasy and this one had pictures so i thought it would make it easier to get into fantasy but i haven't read this yet and i just really want to read the other book but i'm trying to do this thing where i cannot buy more books from the same author if i haven't read there are other books on my shelf, but I think we might have to break that rule. I also want to look for mugs because I was at TJ Maxx and I was like, I don't think all of these mugs are hitting. So I want to check out because they also have like a gift section and I'm down for whatever, maybe a new notebook, whatever the vibes bring. I'm going to do a book haul, which is towards the end. So stay tuned for that, but let's go. Come with me to the bookstore and watch me spend all this money. Like $60. I can get $60 worth of books. I'm so excited to go spend it. Hey guys, it's voiceover me. I feel like I sound a little bit sick or like congested, but I think it's because I just woke up like not even 10 minutes ago. But I'm excited to bring you on the shopping vlog. I didn't do a lot of talking at the bookstore. Honestly, it was kind of crowded. I was overstimulated a little bit, but I didn't want to talk and like have people stare and even draw more attention to me. So I did some like low key vlogging, but I'm here as a voiceover so I can show you exactly what was going in my head. I'm currently at the literature section. I'm looking for ocean on earth we're briefly gorgeous that was like my one goal today was to get that book and I saw that book when they were buying my books because I was also selling my books which that vlog will be up soon but I then lost it and I couldn't find it again so here's just me going through the bookshelves looking for it there's a lot of people walking by It's not crowded, it's just like people keep on walking by and then I get shy so I don't talk. My stuff is currently being bought so I have to wait but I can walk around while they buy it and then I'll bring it back to my car and then I can fully shop around with the new gift card. I feel so nervous. I'm at the bookstore. Just when I get the moment to go out of my shell and bring the camera up and say hi, someone walks by and makes direct eye contact with me as I'm saying those words. So I will not be doing that again, but officially I've sold everything. I put it in my car. And so the shopping adventures can really take off now. Like I don't have to hold anything. My vibes for this book shopping trip is definitely like spring, summer books, definitely bright. Something to get me in the mood for the warmer weather, something happy and energetic, probably a romance book. But I'm just shifting through all the books right now. I'm just looking at whatever catches my attention. I saw Tia Williams' new book, which was so exciting. Exciting. However, I am a big paperback girly, so I'm gonna wait until it comes out in paperback. Oh, I found it. They sell both used and new books, so I'm gonna try to look for the used ones, but they all look new.
First book on the list, check. I'm so excited to read this. This is by an Asian American author, specifically Vietnamese, and I am so excited about that representation. It's also, I believe, his debut novel, but that might be a lie. If not, my bad, but this is like a memoir style book. It's about his life and a letter to his mom who can't read. I feel like it's going to be super vulnerable. Now we're not in the romance section yet, we're kind of still in the literature slash fiction section, but there's a lot of women's fiction. So I like to take a peek around just because there are some books that I know and they kind of fit in both categories. I actually have this book, but I haven't got around to it yet, so I won't be buying it again. Now we're looking at the poetry. If you know any good poetry books that you recommend to me, I would so appreciate that. I feel like I've always wanted to get into poetry, but I haven't found the right books that make me feel seen and connected or I relate to so definitely looking for recommendations right now now we're back at the gift section I feel like I could spend all my money here so I just keep on going back because there are so many cute little knickknacks that I don't really need but I want so I think that's like the perfect excuse to buy them now they have like the cutest glasses tumblers they even just have like cute things that you don't really need but you want such as like little cat plates where you can put your spoon in when you're cooking I was looking at this cute book I feel like it's a good kitchen book but then I started opening it on these plates and they're fragile so I was like, mm, better not. And then I got distracted because I saw a Vietnamese cookbook and I was like, wait, that's so cute. And I feel like I could get a lot of recipes from there, even though my dad is a non-professional chef. Like he cooks a lot, he cooks all the time. So he makes a lot of these meals. But if I ever wanted to make my own, I have it right here. And I'm so excited that there's like a Vietnamese cookbook. I feel like I've never seen one before. My dad always gets his recipes online or like specifically Facebook. So I always think like, oh, if I want a recipe, I'll just look it up. But how cool is it to have a Vietnamese cookbook? I was so amazed by this plate. I definitely didn't need it to eat, but I was like, what if I put like my jewelry on it? I think that would be really cool. I was just trying to walk myself through like, do I really need this? Because it's so stinking cute, but do I really need it? Looking at these tropes, you can tell that we're in the romance section. Also, if you didn't notice, I didn't notice either, but there was a single parent trope and it was like a book with werewolves, which is an interesting mix. But we are officially in the romance section. I am just, this is where I was meant to be. This is where I'm going to pop off. This is where I'm going to spend all my money and surprisingly there were so many indie print books like books that you can never get anymore because publishers has picked them up especially with Colleen Hoover I felt like I found maybe like five of her indie print books which is really cool there was also one for Tessa Bailey I didn't get any of them because I just wasn't in the mood for them right now but I just thought it was really cool to get indie print books for used prices like they were definitely under 13 bucks I look like I was forced to take this video, like my smile seems so fake, but I honestly was just overstimulated. Anyways, I'm somewhere in the section of like sports romance or Wattpad books. I'm not really sure, but I see Alexa Martin and I love her sports romance books, so that's why I said it was sports romance. But we're about to enter into the paranormal stuff, so we're getting close. But anyways, here are some Chloe Lise books, which I love Chloe Lise so much. I think her writing is phenomenal, so highly recommend. Also, with indie print books i found a bunch from the addicted slash callaway sister series and i know those can be a pretty penny because berkeley had just picked them up and so now they're traditionally published and if you want the original print like the original covers with the people on it those are going for a lot also ali hazelwood's new book bride i read it it will be in my february wrap-up but i am so excited to see it in store we are officially in the paranormal romance section so excited to look at all these new books harley lorax I'm slowly trying to get into her. I feel like I have to work up to the dare, but I'm just like intimidated to read it, but I heard it's really good. So we'll see if I get there sometime soon. Also me, every time I see a bookshelf, I look so serious, but every time I see a bookshelf or like books, I'm taking pictures of it. I don't know why. I think I was taking Bride by Allie Hazelwood in this section. I just saw her books everywhere. Oh, there you go. Here's me promoting it. But her books were all over the bookstore. She was in like the staff pick, the new fiction, the romance, and then the paranormal romance, and then in the science fiction. Like her books were everywhere. I thought the cover of this book was so cute and I thought it was like a mystery kind of situation like go through seven games but it's just a book about seven games like checkers, chess, and walking you through the rules and how people play and it wasn't as exciting as I thought it was. 
And here's the exact moment I found out is about chess and checkers. You can see the oh, and then me putting the book back. So. Onto the stationery section. These were the cutest cards. Some of these were just blank cards. Some of these were birthday cards or postcards, but I thought they were so stinking cute. They were $3. They're made by local artists. And I just love like the cat theme. I don't know how, but there's so many cat cards on the shelf. Like everyone is jumping on the cat trend or like everyone suddenly thinks they're cute. But I think this one with the books on top is so adorable. I thought this one was so Grammy core, but so freaking cute. It's a cat with like glasses. It looks old. It's knitting. It's nighttime. And it reminded me a lot of my best friend in like the kindest way possible. She wants to be a grandpa. She wants to be like an electro grandpa kind of aesthetic. So I thought this was so her. Now onto the notebooks. I really wanted a new diary. I feel like the one I have now isn't really connecting with me, so I wanted a new journal. But I was looking at the moleskins or like similar themes of moleskin. They were like 30 bucks. I did not know that. I get all of my moleskin from TJ Maxx. And of course with TJ Maxx, selection is limited. It's not always there. It's like hit or miss. Like sometimes you go and you might get lucky. But I've gotten two moleskin journals from TJ Maxx and they have both been under six bucks. One of them was $5.99, one of them was $3.99. So I was like, oh, I think Moleskine is affordable, but it's actually really, really expensive. So I didn't get any because $30 for a notebook when I could get it for six. I know this is like a non-budget shopping spree, but like I can't, I, even I can't do that. Now we're kind of in like the snacks, like even more knickknacks, like the things you grab right before you check out. I love these chocolate bars. I think they're phenomenal and they're gigantic and they're just so freaking good. Like they're quality chocolate, but I couldn't find the one that I usually gravitate towards. I think it's orange, but it's not that one that was there. And I was about to check out, but I was like, you know what? I want to run through the store one more time. The store is kind of small. So I was able to do that and like go through everything again, especially all the sections that I wanted like romance or fiction or things like that and a haul will be at the very end i know you haven't seen me like put books in my cart or like my basket and stuff but i'm saving it all for the end so if you want to see everything i got stay tuned there is a little bit of like magic to this shopping trip because you have to watch through the whole video to see what i want but at this point i realized i forgot alone with you in the ether which i really really wanted as well so i looked it up on the catalog which is like the computer you know what a catalog is come on i'm not gonna mansplain it to you So I'm looking at the number and it's a section I already went to, but I didn't see it. So I'm going back. It's right next to the romance section, right behind the paranormal romance. But then I did some digging and I couldn't find it. And I ended up back in the romance section looking for books. I found Hannah Young's book, which I'm really looking for out on the limb. I kind of like regret not getting the any print, but I posted it on Instagram. I was like, should I get the new print? version of the cover or the old version and majority said new and i should have just gotten the old because now it's out of print and i like can't go back on my decision but i pulled this book pretending by holly and i thought it was so intriguing like the back seemed very unhinged very like she says what she wants because the back was just like i hate men and i hate dating blah 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 and i was like this sounds intriguing Anyways, I'm back in the science fiction. I finally found Alone With You in the Ether. I'm so excited to pick this up. They only had new copies and this bookstore sells both new and used. So I always have to double check, but they only had new versions. Then I stopped by the gar so then I stopped by the card games or board games in general. I found this cool little card trivia, but it's for people who don't know pop culture like that, which I feel like is really me and my mix of friends. Like we all have our niches and we know certain things about 
pop culture and celebrities but we don't know the same thing so this is more of like a generalized pop culture game Anyways, I'm going through everything that I was holding in my hands, some knickknacks, some cards, some books, and then I'm shifting through all the books to see if it's something I really want. Ever since I started reading in high school, I had this thing where I like to like open a random page of the book and read it. I feel like that gives me a really good sense of the dialogue, the writing style, but also I used to look at the endings all the time and it was such a bad habit. I didn't care that I was spoiling the book because honestly when I read the ending, I don't really understand it. So when I read the book, oh, there was all caps in this book and it was like, I hate men, I hate men. And I was like, okay, she's really unhinged. And that intrigued me more into the book. Back to my story, I feel like when I read the ending I don't really understand it or there's just like very minimal stuff that I get and so when I read the book because I have short-term memory I forget the ending and I just know that the ending was good when I read it so that means it's a good book I was leaning my books on the books that people have to shelf back, like the employees, and I found some other cool books. This is a YA romance. It's Dungeons and Dragon theme, kind of, but it's like dungeon and drama. And then of course everyone knows right before you're checking out there's always like the cutest things. I found this really adorable book about working from home and how your cat distracts you. These cute little knickknacks, especially these mystery boxes, I am a sucker for them. I love them. I want to collect them all, especially like calico critters. I love them. I hope I look okay, but that was like one of the cutest person I've ever seen at the cashier. And he was my cashier because I timed it right. I made sure like he was my cashier when it was time for me to check out. Anyways, I just got done from the bookstore. I definitely pushed it, but I got really lucky because there's, there's only one hour parking and I think I've been here for maybe, what time is it? Two hours, I was pushing it. Anyways, I got so many cute things, I'm so excited. Hey besties, if I look like the intro, that's because this was filmed after the book shopping vlog. <laughs> so that intro, I was kind of lying to you. I was pretending that I was going to the bookstore when it had already happened. Just a liar! Anyways, <laughs> but I wanted to do a cute little intro because yesterday I also vlogged like my weekly vlogs and just lifestyle content and it's not really bookish related even though books do fall a lot in those vlogs. But I wanted to do a different intro for this video because I'm separating those vlogs. So if you want to see more behind the scenes, definitely check out that vlog. But this video is me buying literally everything I want at the bookstore. But you have reached the portion of the haul, so I'm excited to show you everything I bought. I was very good on self-restraint like I was genuinely like okay will I read this well do I need this is this impulsive even though I had the gift cards to spend it I didn't and I was like wow she's mature I'm trying to cut back on impulse spending this year especially when it comes to books because I feel like if you really let me I could buy every single book that I wanted and I could not even know what they're about like I could just go to Target and literally go like this with my arm and the shelf and it would just fall in the cart and I could do that but then it's like what's the point I don't know if any of that makes sense but let's get into the haul but let's start with the knickknacks because I think that's the best part I got two postcards I don't plan on sending them out as postcards but I think they're gonna make really really fun like decor like maybe on my cork board or something like that so the first one I actually got for myself this one is a tree with two little frogs I feel like this one is very me I love riding my bike and I just love how calm and chill and peaceful this is and I just really wanted it for myself this was a dollar and fifty cents so I think it's really cute <laughs> Anyways, the next one I got is this one. This one is so stinking cute. I actually got it from my best friend because she loves cat, she loves grandma core, and she knits sometimes. I don't know if she does anymore, but she knows how to knit. So this just reminded me of her. So I got that for her, and that was also $150. Um, they had so many other cute postcards I think I'll show in the vlog. The next little knickknack I got was this cutesy little mug. I'm gonna be so real, I was kind of disappointed in their mug selection. I felt like there was nothing really cute. Not that it wasn't cute, I think a lot of them were cute, but I just don't think they were what I was looking for, my kind of style. I wanted it like very colorful and bright. It does have that like ridges in the inside, so maybe it was hand thrown, but I don't know. But I got this one and I'm excited about it, but I do wish they had like a bigger mug selection. 
Next up the book, I got Olivia Blake, Alone With You in the Ether. This is a love story. It's a romance novel by Ollie Blake. And this has an indie cover that I absolutely loved. And I regret in my heart that I never got because people are trying to resell it for like 500 bucks. And I just can't do that because I almost got it on Amazon right before the day it was discontinued. It was in my cart and I was like, okay, I think I might buy it. I heard so many good things about it and I really, really want to read it. I think I originally heard it from Haley Fam on YouTube and then it kind of was like all over my TikTok and I was like, I think I want to buy it. I regret not buying it because literally the next day it was like currently unavailable and it will never be available again. And it's now traditionally published, but I just will never ever see that book again or in that cover. But we have this one and I'm still excited to read it. I'm glad it's a paperback because this was in hardcover for the longest time and I'm just not a hardcover girly. The back says true love is just a matter of time, an intimate study of space, time, and the nature of love from the best-selling author of The Atlas Six. But yeah, thank you so much for joining on this journey of vlogging at the bookstore and spending my gift cards, which I still have a lot more to spend. I think I walked in without a budget, but I ended up budgeting myself. So I think I have to like redo this and actually go unhinge and maybe bring a friend and have them convince me to buy every book because I can easily convince myself out of it. But I feel like I need a friend to be like, just buy it. You have the gift cards. So I think I might actually have to do this again and go on like a non-budget, like I will not restrict myself I like it, I buy it, and I don't think about it. Kind of shopping spree. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.